Welcome back to this Let's Play of the original official campaign of Neverwinter Nights 2. Last time we for found the fourth statue in this area, and these statues have been giving us special little feats, uh, which supposedly will help us defeat the King of Shadows, aka the Guardian of Ilfarn, aka that guy who's the big... Uh, I'll, you know, major spoiler here, he's the last boss. Sort of. Sort of. Going through... Uh, this portal requires that you do those four statue quests first. What is this place? It looks like a ruined village, but... Well, I recognize the music, so it must be West Harbor. Know that these are not the Ilfarn ruins we seek. Is this your birth village? <laughs> that goes beyond Captain Obvious that these are not Ilfarn ruins. This is, this is like Admiral Obvious. This was your home? I didn't realize you were from a mare village. Must have been a tough childhood. Know that this was not our intended destination. Something is wrong. We are close to where we were meant to be. Are there any ancient Ilfarn structures near your birth village? If so, that is where we must go. Well, there are the ruins in the swamp. Then that is our true destination. Yet only something of great power could have turned away our arrival from the ruins, even if they are close by. Something more powerful than teleporting around? Great. We should be on our guard. It is possible that whatever caused this disruption is still present. Such disruption may be due to our enemies seeking us. Or, do you hear something? It is like the sound uh, of a child wailing. Okay. Um, what were you gonna say previously? The or? Hmm, well, I guess she won't explain. Let's look for survivors. Yes, I agree. Though I do not believe anyone lives, we may still wish to search. A witness to the events here would be of value. Let us see where our path takes us. But no matter what, we must make our way to the ruins you spoke of. You know, trying to save their lives if they're having problems, you know, that might be kind of important. You know, we are, we have become a good character, right? And not exactly a happy homecoming festival, huh? Sorry. I saw the look on your face when I arrived. I didn't realize you'd come from a village like this. I thought life on a farm was tough, but the stories I'd heard about villages bordering the mare... I guess I never really thought about where you came from. Not really. I thought heroes... well, started in great sweeping castles. Not like this. Now, you can... there are a couple options here. Some of these will lose you influence with Chandra, the first one here will get you quite a bit of influence with her. You left to save your village? I'm impressed. Well, even if you did ruin my whole life by doing so. Still, you did what you did for the right reasons. Don't blame yourself. You know, if you do. And you can also say that maybe she will grow up to be something of greatness as well. We know that's not true, but hey, you know, it's worth influence with her. I suppose so. But I doubt it. Don't let it go to your head or anything, but you'd be a tough pair of boots to fit into. Anyway, that's worth it. Those two conversation options are worth four influence with Chandra, which is, you know, not... I guess it's not that important. Really all you get from having a high influence with Chandra is an amulet, which is actually a fairly good item, but it's not anything that's completely unprecedented in power. This is where the sound is coming from. The wailing of the child is strong here. What is this place? There is a familiar sensation about it. It's not the sound. The vibration is in the air around it, almost metallic. It is powerful, very powerful. This place is a sacred place. Know that when we know more, we should return. This, she's talking about this place, which is the site of the ancient battle against the King of Shadows. Now we're going to go to the swamp, and I'm going to jump directly to the ruins instead of actually walking the whole way there, because it's just a repeat of the very first area of the game. Huh. And I actually all buffed up. Now, the first ruins we went to are this one, and this is the second set of ruins. You could come here earlier, but nothing actually happens. This is not actually the same map as the first part of the, the game. Uh, if you leave an item at that map, it will not be here at this one. And there's actually a treasure chest, which 
has exactly the same items it did the first time you were here. In case you wanted another set of gloves of concentration, real important. The only other difference in the map is just, essentially the only difference in the map is which door, which of these doors is coded, and where the map pin is. But here we are, Guardian Ruins. And Ziggy says that the door was supposed to be closed, so we'll see what we find inside. I mean, could be ominous, right? Right? It's one of our chestnuts. Oh, God. What is that? It is a thrall of the King of Shadows, a Shadow Reaver. And there, behind it, is the Statue of Purification. Or was, I guess is the better term. You have come far, for nothing. The statue's power is spent. Another has taken it, but it will not stop us. Another has undergone the ritual of purification? You speak lies. But it does not matter. The thief has not completed the rest of the ritual, the parts you bear. Once you are slain and the other statues cast down, none shall stand against us. Then as long as the other one who completed the ritual lives, we have a chance. All we have to do is defeat you. Ah, Gif. Zerai, you cannot stop me. Why the Illithids use your people as slaves is beyond me. It was a waste to you both. And why the King of Shadows would use you for a similar purpose is not known to me. But the fact that you cannot break his grip tells of your weakness. Weakness? My power is more than enough to defeat you. More than enough to bring these ruins down upon you. Even if you should wound me, I shall reform within the Vale of Merdelaine as strong as before. I cannot be stopped. Okay, well, let's try intimidating him. If you seek to shield yourself in your words, then I shall show you how frail such armor is. Know that speaking words does not make them truth. Prove it, thrall. Anyway, um, these guys are in fact invincible. So this particular one was, you, essentially, you can't kill him here, but that doesn't stop you from, you know, winning this fight if you're not in trouble. But, uh, we'll throw a little bit of magic oh, in here. We have you, friends. Just, you know, for the fun. Not exactly what I'd call all that powerful, considering that kill through a delayed blast fireball there. Delayed blast fireball, what it actually does is it creates a trap-like effect, which, uh, when an enemy steps on it, or if you cast it directly on them, uh, will explode as the fireball. Uh, you it can't actually cast it. Is done. But know that we have only bought time, not achieved victory. We have only driven it off. It will return, as it said, and there will be more. Okay, shut up, Sigmund. Anyway, uh, it won't blow up unless something actually triggers it, so you can't try and cast it in the midst of a group of enemies. You have to cast it at something, which makes Delayed Blast Fireball pretty useless. Okay, so, well, we can't complete the ritual without the statue. No, but we do not need to. No, we must find the one the Reaver spoke of. The one who completed the ritual. We will need their aid to defeat the King of Shadows. But that could be anyone. We don't even know who that is. I can't believe we came all this way for nothing. Nothing? Know that we have completed four parts of the ritual. We have learned another holds the fifth. And most importantly, we know that our enemy fears our plans. Well, I guess we'll just have to take the fifth I know. then. I just feel like we should do something. Know that this road is at an end. But time may have opened other roads to us. There is hope. You must believe it. 
know that we have two weapons against the King of Shadows. The ritual in all its parts, and a fully forged sword of the Githyank. We will need the sword no matter what transpires. Let us pursue that path, and perhaps the second path shall be revealed to us. Okay, yeah, um, where do we get a sword of the Githyank? I mean... Amon Jero knew much of the Githyank silver swords. Finding his haven and recovering the knowledge of those swords is the only step we may take on this path now. We should return to Crossroad Keep, to the lore keeper who was imprisoned there with me, Aldenon. He knows much of Neverwinter, and he may know more than we of where to find some trace of Amanjero. Oh, you mean the quest we were supposed to complete, you know, a full chapter ago? Why don't, we, why don't we get back to that one, you know, since we haven't really made any progress on this one. You can, by the way, you can take the song portal here back to the ruins, um, if for some reason you forgot something. And it's actually a shorter walk than walking out here. I'm gonna clean up, be right back. We're back here at Crossroad Keep, and, uh, I have a lot of stuff to sell, uh, and a lot of just administrative stuff to do that I'll do between the episodes, because we're out of time for this one. We'll see you next time when we go talk to our slightly crazed sage again. He's not senile, he's just played with the mercury too much. <laughs>